so Marcus Ben. Now a lot of people yeah. <laughs> know that you had a bit of a, a Barney with him. As well. yeah. I don't know what's the right word to call it, but you've mentioned that you're actually you're cool with him now. So for those that don't know the story, why don't you tell us what happened? And then how you I don't sort even of... know the story. Oh, well, Nick doesn't know the story. <laughs> sure. I, I think I know the story. I think it's involving Trinidad and Tobago, but you can explain it. And then how you sorted it all out, because it sounded like that brawl was not going to be one you'd ever be able to rectify. No, no. Oh, no, the, the Trinidad's another story. Oh, wow. We've well. got two coming up. <laughs> yeah, we, we were playing, I think it was Lincoln in the cup. We are playing a cup game, and I think we were four. I think Benty actually got a hat-trick. But we were 4-1 up. I'd set up a couple of his goals. And uh, I always remember he's gone down the line. And all he's got to do is cut it back to me and I've got, I've got a tapping. Uh, and he's tried to shoot from the most ridic- ridiculous angle. So I've ended up, as I do, moaning like mad at him, saying a f- you know, swearing at him, saying a few things I shouldn't have said. And we, we've squared up to each other on the pitch. So we're having a bit of you know, handbags at dawn. And anyway, we, Karen, uh, Warnock's bought him off. The gaffer's bought him off. And he's left me on. So I'm sort of, I mean, I'd have been fuming if it was me, to be honest, if somebody had done that to me. So... I've gone in the dressing room. Bear in mind, I've got all my kit on, my boots, everything. So, Benty's coming out of the shower. So, Benty's in stark, while well, naked, completely naked. So, he's walking over to me and we're having an argument. And there's finger pointing and all this going on. And he's put his head right, right in my... So, he's leaning down. Obviously, you know, he's a good bit taller than me, as, as most people are. <laughs> so, he's putting his, his head right in my face. And I, I just thought to myself, well, I know there's going to be a fight here. I'm, I'm getting the first one in. So I just cracked my head back, head butted him as hard as I possibly could. And we've just started having a scrap. So I couldn't stand up because I had my boots on. So I was like Bambi on ice. He's soaking wet and naked. So he's slipping all over the place. But, you know, the lads, it lasted about 30 seconds. The, lad, the lads have jumped in, split us up, uh, you know, and that, that was it really. It was over in 30, although he ended up with a few stitches in his lips. Um, ended up 30, 40 seconds of, of madness. Warnock was, I mean, Warnock dealt, dealt with it brilliant. You know, he was, he was fantastic. He just went, right, you in at quarter past nine, you in at nine o'clock. And we both ended up pulling up at the, at the ground the next day at the same time. But me and Benty got on great before that. And we had a laugh and a joke about it. And, and we got on great after it. It was just one of those daft things that lasted, you know, 30, 40 seconds that, that happens in training grounds up, up and down the country every day. And, and, and you know, to, to, to Warnock's credit, he had us both in. He sort of banged our heads together. He didn't make a big thing about it. He didn't fine us. He just says, listen, you're my top scorer. You're the current player of the year. You know, I laughed about it. Don't let it happen again, lad. So he, he handled it brilliantly. Top the, manager. The yeah, he handled it brilliantly. Top you know, a lot of managers would have made, you know, I know he mentioned it in his book and, and stuff like that. And, it, you know, down the years, it's been blown out of proportion. But he handled it brilliant. And, you know, I haven't seen Benty for years, but, you know, we, we got on fine after that as well. It was just, just one of those things. 